Hi, in this video we're going to look at the last of the short answer questions from the Oxford Maths Admissions Test from 2018, question 1j, and it says which of the following could be the sketch of the curve p of x plus p of y equals 0 for some polynomial p? Now notice something here, this polynomial p, there's just one polynomial in this question. So whatever polynomial we apply to x, we also have to apply to y and uh, add them together and get 0 and that should give the sketch. So uh, we've also got some options down here and uh, we might use those in conjunction with the, uh, the the sketches here. So you look across here and I first just think, think about what's plausible. I mean I don't want to be too unrigorous here but I think when I first looked at this I would just say well obviously not B, it's just not the sort of thing we're going to get from adding polynomials together like this, but we'll, uh, so I'll start by thinking about the other ones. D is perhaps the most straightforward curve to write down here, it looks to me that this could uh, definitely be say Y equals minus X, and that then does satisfy uh, the p of x plus p of y equals 0, because I've got x plus y equals 0, so uh, you know p of x equals x here is just a is a polynomial. You remember to be a polynomial, it just has to be any uh, number multiplied by x to a, an integer power and then add it together, so like you know, kind of x squared plus 3x cubed plus a half x to the 5, uh, so just integer powers, well so natural number uh, powers and constants. Okay, so no negative powers or fractional powers or anything like that. So D is fine, so D definitely works. Um, so actually, you know, I like to look at the answers as soon as I've ruled one out, so it can't be uh, it can't be B already and uh, it can't be E because they say not D. I write C, another one I can write down quite easily here, so this is just uh, a circle, so X squared plus y squared equals r squared, not exactly in the form because of the zero, but you know I could subtract one half r squared uh, twice and get uh, x squared plus a half r squared plus y squared minus a half r squared equals zero. So here my polynomial is uh, x squared minus some constant, um, half of the radius squared. So c works, and. Uh, so that means that uh, we've also ruled that A. So C and D are the only options left. Now these say either the answer is that C and D can be written like this or A, C and D. Uh, so neither of these include B actually. So I don't have to try to be more rigorous than I was earlier in saying that B is obviously not right because actually, in fact, it's not even an option anymore. It's not, you know, I've, I've ruled out options, so I don't even need to consider B here. I just need to decide whether A can be written like this. And well, A to me looks like it's something like y equals ax squared minus b. Okay, so there's something like that. Now, I, mean, I can't say for sure that it's ax squared. It could be another even power of x, perhaps. Um, but this really isn't ever going to fit into this form. So it looks to me like. A is not going to work. Now I think if we want to be a little bit more rigorous about it, I should do something like noticing the symmetry here, p of x plus p of y equals zero. So that means that you know if x y satisfies this equation, then it would also have to be the case that y x satisfies uh, the equation and vice versa. So actually, uh, this means that any graph that would be a, a graph of this would have to have symmetry in the line y equals x. So actually we can see here that you know my circle has symmetry in the line y equals x, this line here has symmetry in the line y equals x. In fact actually you know, maybe this one has symmetry in the line y equals x as well, although it fails for other reasons. Um, but this curve here, uh, the, what, the one that looks like a parabola, does not have symmetry in the line y equals x, so we're going to rule out a. Uh, which is option D here, and leave us with just option C. Okay, so that's all of the short answer questions. Let me know if you had any other thoughts on this uh, more rigorous way of ruling out B, or if uh, you have any other comments or questions, so let me know, and I'm going to get on and 
answer the long answer questions for this paper as well and I'll put those all into a playlist so watch out for those and I will see you in the next video.